Hello everyone, myself, Prof. Muthu Kumar from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Gohati. The title of our proposal is Energy Efficient, Eco-Friendly, Porous Radiant Burner for Cooking and Industrial Application. As we are aware, the thermal efficiency of the uh, commercially available LPG cook stove in the market are very low, they are in the range of about 60 to 65 percent. Besides having low thermal efficiency, their emissions are very high. The major motivation of our proposal are to meet the increase in LPG consumption rate of about 8 percent per year and reduction of LPG import by about 10 to 15 percent in 2030. This is one of our government's goal and still 40 percentage of population do not have access to the clean cooking fuel in India. Our government is committed to provide uh, clean cooking fuel to all 100 percent uh, population in India by 2030 as part of the sustainable development goal. And further our government is also very keen in uh, promoting the liquid fuels such as methanol and ethanol for cooking application. Currently we do not have any cook stove which can operate methanol and ethanol. Further, we also do not have efficient cook device for biogas application. Recently, as you are aware, the, the price of LPG and PNG of course increased very significantly. Therefore, to reduce the, uh, you know, the owning cost of this fuel, then we need to adopt energy efficient cooking solution. So, with this motivation, we proposed forest radiant burner for domestic as well as the uh, domestic cooking and industrial cooking and in the other industrial application. So, basically porous radiant burner consists of two layers of porous matrix. One is a preheating zone which is made up of low thermal conductivity, low porosity, aluminum oxide ceramic. And the uh, above one is the silicon carbide porous matrix which is having high thermal conductivity and high porosity and high emissivity. When the air fuel mixture is introduced between these two zones, combustion happens exactly at the interface between the free heating zone and the combustion zone. Since the combustion is happening inside the highly conducting and radiating porous matrix, some part of the combustion heat will be transferred back to the free heating zone for free heating the incoming air fuel mixture. As a result, the air is preheated from ambient temperature to up to about 300 degrees Celsius. Because of this preheating effect, the combustion is almost 100 percent. In case of the forest radiant burner, the predominant mode of heat transfer from the surface to the cooking vessel is by radiation. As you know, the radiation travels at a speed of light. Because of the rapid heat transfer, here the uh, heat loss is almost negligible. In case of the free flame combustion, you can see here the, the predominant mode of heat transfer from the flame to the vessel is convection. As you are aware, the convective heat transfer coefficient of the air is very low and the gases do not contribute significantly in radiation and therefore, the heat transfer in case of the free flame combustion from the flame to the vessel is very poor. This of course, hinders the thermal efficiency of the conventional cook stove. In case of the, uh, the porous radiant burner, because of the uh, contribution of volumetric radiative heat transfer, here we can achieve about 20 to 60 percent improvement in thermal efficiency compared to the, uh, uh, the respective conventional stove available in the market. So, utilizing the concept of porous radiant burner, we have developed several working prototype of porous radiant burner for various application. So, here uh, just I will brief you one by one. The porous radiant burner developed for domestic cooking application of about 1 to 3 kilowatt have the efficiency about 82 percent which is 30 percent higher than the conventional stove available in the market. And besides that, this burner also reduces the CO and NOx emission by about 80 percent. Then similarly, we also developed the porous radiant burner for commercial cooking application having the power range in uh, power range in about 5 to 7 kilowatt. Here we achieved uh, the fuel saving of about 40 percent in compared to the burner available in the conventional market. And similarly, we also developed the cluster burner where the power in the range of 12 to 15 kilowatt can be obtained. So, this burner could provide the fuel saving in the range of about 50 percent. Then similarly, for biogas also we have developed porous radiant burner having fuel saving of about 22 percent. So, all these burners are tested as per the protocol available uh, in the in India that is the BAS. Both the thermal efficiency emission everything is measured as per the BAS by conducting the standard water piling test. We also developed porous radiant burner technology for liquid fuels such as kerosene and methanol. In case of kerosene, 
In comparison with conventional pressure stove, we achieved about 20% improvement in fuel saving. And similarly, in case of pressurized methanol cook stove, we achieved about 10% improvement in thermal efficiency in comparison with the, uh, the canister based cook stove developed by us. This the uh, in case of the canister based cook stove, uh, the maximum uh, power output obtained can be about 1 to 1.5 kilowatt. So, we cannot achieve beyond this. So, to have better uh, thermal output, so we developed porous lead in burner which can cater up to about 3.5 kilowatt of power. So, here I summarize the status of development of porous lead in burner at IIT Guwahati. We developed porous lead in burner for various fuels such as LPG, biogas, natural gas, kerosene and methanol. The application wise we have developed porous lead in burner for domestic and commercial cooking and we also developed porous lead in burner for room heating and incineration of medical waste and as well as industrial drying. So, some of these applications are, are in trial at actual condition once the trial is successful and they will be commercialized. As per the cook stove is concerned, we have tested the performance of the cook stove in real environment by conducting control cooking test, kitchen performance test and, uh, and etcetera. And we even we have also done the techo economic analysis and life cycle as, uh, assessment of all the developed products. So, we are planning to uh, take the, take up this technology for several industrial as well as the cooking application. Uh, some of the industrial applications are the development of porous lead in burner for sanitary napkin disposal and the development of porous lead in burner for various industrial furnace including the ceramic industry, dairy industry and the food processing industry and etc. And we also planning to develop the porous lead in burner for cremation applications in addition to the normal uh, cooking application. And uh, once these products uh, the developed of course before reaches its commercial stage particularly for domestic uh, application we need to have uh, the BA standard. So, therefore, we are also in the process of developing BA standard for the, uh, uh, the porous lead in burner paste cook stove. Here are the, uh, the conceptual design of the uh, porous lead in burner paste cremation unit. So, this particular unit can burn any body consuming about 5 to 7 kg of LPG and this will create the better environment and as well as uh, here the body can be burned uh, within about 30 to uh, 35 uh, minutes. The, uh, the fuel consumption will be roughly about 5 to 7 kg and within about 1000 rupees any body can be uh, you know, cremated by using the system. Similarly, we also uh, developed I mean designed uh, the porous lead in burner paste the sanitary, sanitary napkin disposal unit. This unit can handle about 5 to 10 kg of the waste and which can uh, burn uh, the, uh, the waste by consuming less than 500 grams per batch of the, uh, the uh, per batch. So, we also developed porous lead in burner technology for face kitting application using kerosene based porous lead in burner. Actually, this technology is very uh, important for the high altitude army application where currently they use the wick stove for uh, free heating the room. So, uh, since the wick stoves are kept inside the room and which create lot of uh, knocks and uh, uh, the CO emissions and also this formation of soot also very high in wick stove. So, this technology our technology completely eliminates the, um, the formation of soot and as well as the uh, more amount of NOx and more amount of CO. The, our burner can be kept outside and the, through the heat pipe technology, the produced combustion heat can be easily transferred to the room and which can keep the room uh, you know about 24, 25 degrees Celsius. So, the market potential of our porous lead in burners are very huge and the developed porous lead in burner can be used both domestic and cooking application. And since the porous lead in burner can be used for any liquid, liquid and gaseous fuel, these burners are ideally suited for methanol and ethanol and biogas bio based cook stoves. Further, the porous lead burner also can be explored for uh, constructing medical waste incinerator, uh, cremation system and a sanitary napkin uh, you know disposal system and etc. This will also provide a huge you know the fuel saving particularly in this sector. Then the forest lead burner can be ideally suited for uh, many industrial application and as well as the thermal management application having uh, and, and this technology can also provide the fuel saving up to about 50 percent. So, coming to the social impact this burner can provide 
the fuel saving up to about uh, 50 percent depends on the industrial application. So therefore, uh, this will reduce uh, significantly the fuel cost particularly in case of the ceramic and dairy industry. Since the porous staining burner are ideally suited for biogas and methanol and this will provide the sustainable solution uh, for particularly for cooking application. And the porous stadium burner can also reduce the 80 percentage of emission providing the better in working environment particularly for the cooking application. Commercialization of the porous stadium burner will reduce the LPG import and as well as the uh, it will completely minimize the subsidy given for the LPG fuel and as well as the free uh, you know the uh, finan amount of money spent on you know, the free LPG cylinder. Considering the 45 lakh LPG domestic consumption per day with the 30 percent uh, fuel saving the proposed porous stadium burner technology can lead to a saving of about 13.5 uh, uh, lakh LPG cylinder per day. So, this will provide the huge financial saving for the government of India. So, the uh, we have developed various technology based on porous stadium burner here at IIT Gohati. I just I will brief you the technology readiness level of various uh, the product. Domestic uh, LPG cook stove and uh, the technology readiness level is 6 to 7 and having the fuel saving up to about 30 percent and the LPG commercial cook stove uh, having the technology readiness level of 6 to 7 and this can provide the fuel saving of about 60 percent. Then biogas domestic cook stove and we have the technology readiness level between 4 to 5 and which can provide the fuel saving of about 20 to 25 percent. And methanol ethanol cook stove conceptual design is developed and uh, the expected fuel saving uh, will be about 20 percent. Medical waste incinerator cremation system and sanitary napkin disposal system the be designed and uh, we made the preliminary test and uh, the expected fuel saving from these products are about uh, 25 to about 50 percent and similarly for industrial application and phase heating and uh, uh, the ceramic uh, dryer and food dryer and etc. we are exploring it. Now you are seeing the combustion of the newly developed porous radian burner of about 5 to 7 kilowatt capacity. Now here you can see here the uh, burner is uh, you know it is completely in flameless mode and you cannot see any flame over here. And this burner can provide the fuel saving of about 40 to 50 percent and in addition to having large amount of fuel saving this burner also I mean, uh, pro I mean provide about 85 percent reduction in CO2 NOx emission. So, we have also done the kitchen performance test uh, at actual condition and we uh, obtained about 30 percent of the save in cooking time as well. Now, I am going to explain the various combo, uh, components of porous radian burner. So, what you are seeing is the uh, casing which is made up of low cost uh, ceramic material and uh, this can be sourced in any uh, parts of India. And the next one is this is the free getting zone which is made up of again alumina uh, based ceramic and you can see the cost of these materials are very low. And then the, uh, the third component is the uh, uh, silicon carbide matrix and this matrix of course it is again low cost it is used as a filter for uh, in the uh, boundary industries. So, the assembly is very simple. So, you have to first you have to keep the, uh, the uh, pirigating zone ceramic block then the silicon carbide one. So, now the burner is of course ready and of course then it can uh, give the directly you can connect to the uh, furnace and which can produce the, uh, the flameless combustion. Here I will play the porous stadium burner developed at IIT Gohati. Now what you are seeing is the porous stadium burner of about 5 to 7 kilowatt capacity uh, power capacity. This burner can provide about 30 to 40 percentage of fuel saving and you can see here there is no flame and uh, this will also reduce the CO NOx emission by about uh, 80 percent. And uh, in addition to having better fuel saving, this also reduce the cook time by about 30 to 35 percent. So, this is the, uh, the cluster burner develop of having about 12 to 15 kilowatt uh, capacity. So, this burner is ideally suited for large scale cooking application like hotels, hostels and etc. This burner can provide the fuel overall fuel saving of about 40 to 50 percent. Now, we are seeing the porous stadium burner developed for biogas cooking application. This burner can save about 20 to 25 percentage of fuel. Thank you.